So like, how did this initially come together? And this all-star cast is very exciting, so. Yeah, I think people like all-star cast, don't they? <laughs> yeah. And I think people also like that we're gonna play the record straight through thing too, which you know, I've seen a couple of those and they are fun. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, it's Chris Damey's thing, really. And, and, and the guy who runs the Cat's Cradle Club in, in um, Carver of Frank Heath, I think he and Chris talked about doing this like 10 years ago or something. And um, you know, Chris knows that those people, because he played with Alex, in the late 70s, you know, in New York. Um, so he knew him pretty well, and then, you know, of course that means that he would have met these other characters too. And, you know, the the big star thing is an interesting, it's, I mean, it really is kind of a a cool story because it's the, the, maybe the ultimate didn't get anywhere band, you know, and, and, and yet they're so revered, you know, and not only that, they're like, they're an example, like their records are great, they're really nice, snazzy records, you know. And, um, the studio, Ardent, where they were done, is a real together kind of place, and it's still going. And the owner of the studio, they were kind of his babies, I think, you know, so the tapes are all in great shape, everything's chronicled and all that. And uh, So anyway, when this started coming together a little more, Chris was able to get a lot of help from the studio people about this stuff. Like, he was able to hear the multi-track tapes to really hear what the parts were on that third record, because that third record is insane, you know, some yeah. of the songs, and it's like, what is happening? And, and by being able to hear it like that, he was able to really figure it out. And then the studio, uh, I think, helped get the um, get him in touch with Carl Marsh, who wrote those string arrangements uh, for the thing, and Carl actually didn't have them anymore and recreated them, like, just recently from listening to it again, because he's still working in the biz doing that kind of stuff. So all these kind of people that were there at the beginning have, are still around to help get this thing together. But Chris was the guy who really got the band together to go do it, so it was kind of his thing. And um, it went off great, you know, that we had like a pretty big batch of orchestral players to do all the horns and strings. It was a lot of people, but it wasn't mega mega, but there were probably ten string kind of section people, and then there was like the rock band, you know, mm -hmm. with some guest singers and... Um, you know, a couple of players that would come and go and stuff. Mm -hmm. But then Jody Stevens, you know, who was a big star drummer, played drums, and um, Mike Mills played bass. And uh, then there were a lot of Chapel Hill-type nouveau celebrities involved. Uh -huh. And some of them are coming to the New York thing, and then there'll be uh, a new batch of celebs from, you know, just a new batch of celebrities for this show. You know.